In this chapter, we are going to discuss radiology and nuclear medicine. And we're going to start with x-rays, x-ray characteristics and effects. The characteristics of x-rays include velocity because they are electromagnetic x-rays in a vacuum travel at the speed of light, which is 186,000 miles per second. This velocity is reduced as x-rays penetrate the different substances of the body according to their density. Wavelength, x-rays have a very short wavelength compared with other electromagnetic waveforms. Only gamma rays from an atomic explosion have a shorter wavelength. This shorter wavelength is a major factor in enabling x-rays to pass through many materials and tissues to different degrees. Air is the most radiolucent and allows the greatest penetration. Photographic plates show black. Uh, fat is denser than air. Water is more dense and bone is the most dense. Okay, you could say that bone is radio opaque. Okay. Invisibility, x-rays cannot be detected by sight, sound, or touch, so health professionals working in radiology wear a film badge to detect and record radiation to which they are exposed. Ionization, an ion is an atom or group of atoms carrying an electric charge by having gained or lost one or more electrons. When x-rays ionize matter, they can kill both cancer cells and damage normal cells to produce the side effects of radiation as well as genetic mutations that cause malignant changes. Radiation can also cause damage to a fetus, so the use of x-rays in pregnancy is kept to a minimum. Recording of x-ray images, a special type of photographic film is used to record x-ray pictures. The x-rays are converted into light and the more energy that passes through body tissues to reach the photographic film or plate, the darker that region will be. Lungs will be dark, bones that prevent the passage of energy will be white. X-rays can now also be detected electronically using a recorder similar to that used in the digital camera. This means that they can be read immediately and stored more easily. CC, craniocaudal, FFDM, full field digital mammography, and an MLO, mediolateral oblique. Craniocaudal, cod means tail, cranio means skull, ail pertaining to. So a view of a structure from head to foot. Electromagnetic, electro means electricity, magnet means magnet pertaining to energy propagated through matter and space. Ion is Greek for going, an atom or group of atoms having gained or lost one or more electrons. Ionization, or ionize is the verb form. Ization is the process of affecting, process of affecting in a specific way. Ion, atom or group of atoms carrying an electric charge. Eyes is to affect in a specific way. The process of causing an atom or group of atoms to gain or lose one or more electrons. To cause the process of ionization. Mammogram or mammography. Oops. Mammo means breast. Gram is a record. Graphy is the process of recording. Mammogram is the x-ray record produced by mammography. And mammography is the x-ray imaging of the breast. Mediolateral oblique. Lateral means side, medial means middle, oblique means slanting, an angled side view of a structure. Radioactive, radio means radiation. Active means movement, spontaneously emitting alpha, beta, or gamma rays. Radio, radiation. Graph means record. ER, one who records, or ick is pertaining to. Image made by exposure to x-rays. Uh, radiographer is a technologist who performs x-ray procedures. Radiographic pertaining to x-rays. Radiology is the study of medical imaging. Radiologic is pertaining to radiology. Radiologist is a specialist in radiology. Radiolucent or radioopaque. Lucent means open. Opaque means shady, so radiolucent, penetrable by x-rays or other forms of radiation. Radio opaque, impenetrable to x-rays or other forms of radiation. 
radio pharmaceutical. Pharma, of course, means drug industry. Radio means radiation. Suit is relating to. Relating to a product produced by the drug industry that is radioactive. Radiotherapist, specialist in the use of radiation in the treatment of patients. Radio is radiation again. Therapy means treatment. Radiotherapy, treatment using radiation. <clears throat> Alignment. In many situations where x-rays are taken, the x-ray tube that produces the radiation, the patient and the photographic film must be aligned to direct the x-ray beam to the lesion being examined in the best possible way. Terms describing the direction and projection of x-ray beams are of importance in chest x-rays and are postero anterior, postero anterior, in which x-rays travel from the posterior source to an anteriorly, anteriorly placed image receiver. This is the most common chest x-ray. Anteroposterior, in which x-rays travel from an anterior source to a posteriorly placed image receiver. Lateral view, in a left lateral, lateral view, x-rays travel from a source located to the right of a patient and travel to an image recorder to the left of the patient. This is reversed in a right lateral view. Oblique view, in which x-rays travel at an angle from a perpendicular plane and pass behind the heart and lung hilum to show structures normally hidden in PA and AP views. The terms anterior and posterior and other directional terms are described in Chapter 4. In the abbreviations AP, AP anteroposterior, DR, digital radiography, GI, gastrointestinal, PA, postero anterior. Acquisition of radiologic images, plane projectional radiography. Plane radiography was the only modality available in the first 50 years of radiology. The x-rays that pass through a patient strike an undeveloped film held in a light, tight cassette. The film is then developed chemically to produce an image on the film. Now, digital radiography is replacing film screen radiography, x-rays strike a plate of sensors which convert the signals generated into digital information and an image on a computer screen. Because of its lower cost and availability, plain radiography is the first line examination of choice in radiologic diagnosis. Lead aprons can be used to protect patients and technicians from receiving unwanted radiation. Fluoroscopy is a continuous x-ray image, is shown on a monitor like an x-ray movie. This allows real-time imaging of structures in motion, for example, blood vessels or the gastrointestinal tract. Radio contrast agents such as barium sulfate and iodine are administered orally, rectally, intravenously, or into an artery, enhance the real-time imaging of dynamic processes such as blood flow into arteries and veins, angiography, or peristalsis in the GI tract. Iodine contrast may also be concentrated in tumors, cysts, or inflamed areas to make them more opaque and conspicuous in imaging. A barium meal, also known as an upper gastrointestinal series, enables radiographs of the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum to be taken after barium sulfate is ingested. However, the diagnostic use of a barium meal has declined with the increasing use of esophago gastroduodenoscopy, which allows direct visual inspection of suspicious areas in the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. Angiography, radi radiography of blood vessels after injection of a contrast medium. Graphy is the process of recording. Angio is blood vessels. Angiogram, the radiograph obtained by angiography. Angioplasty, plasty is formation, recanalization of a blood vessel by surgery. Anteroposterior, we already talked about that. Fluoroscopy, examination of the structures of the body by x-rays. Fluoro means x-ray beam, scopy is to examine. Oblique means, is Latin for slanting. Slanting in radiology, a projection that's neither frontal nor lateral. Opaque, Latin for shady, impervious to light, impenetrable by, impenetrable by x-rays or other forms of radiation. Postero-anterior, we already talked about that. 
radio contrast, agents that make structures stand out in x-ray imaging. Radio means radiation. Contra is against. Radio pharmaceuticals. In nuclear medicine, radionuclides can be combined with pharmaceutical compounds to form radiopharmaceuticals, which are labeled with a radioactive tracer. When administered to a patient orally, injected intravenously, swallowed, or inhaled as a gas, these compounds can localize to a specific organ or cells. Then external detectors, gamma cameras, capture and form images from the radiation emitted by the tracers. This two-dimensional imaging is called scintillography, which computer... Uh, with computer processing, the information can be displayed as axial, coronal, and sagittal images known as single photon emission computed tomography. Uh, images to produce an image of a slice of a patient in a particular plane. A collection of parallel slices form a slice, track, slice stack, a three-dimensional presentation of how the radionuclide is distributed in the patient. FDG. FDG, fludodeoxoglucose, PET, positron emission tomography, SPECT, single photo emission com computed tomography. The most commonly used tracers include technetium 99M used in 85% of all nuclear medicine imaging, including for bone scans, liver scans, renal function studies, labeling red blood cells, and used as a, and use as a gaseous or aerosol. Iodine-123, used mainly for thyroid scans, iodine-131, used mainly for the destruction of thyroid tissues, gallium-67, used in positron emission tomography scans and for localizing infections, indium-111, used to label and identify the movements of white blood cells, thallium-201, used for myocardial perfusion scans and stress tests, 11F FDG, Fludeoxyglucose, used in diagnosis and staging of cancer and most commonly in PET scans. Positron emission tomography scanning produces two opposite traveling gamma rays to be detected concurrently to improve resolution. 11, 18, or excuse me, 18 F FDG is injected intravenously into the patient and the radiation emitted is detected to produce multiplanar images of the body. Tissues such as cancer that are mostly metabolically active concentrate the 1811 FDG more than normal tissues. PET scan images can be fused with an anatomic CT image to improve diagnostic accuracy. In academic and research settings, PET scans are now being fused with MRI images. Radiation dose. The radiation dose delivered to a patient in a nuclear medicine procedure present a very small risk of inducing cancer. The radiopharmaceuticals are inside the body and emit ionizing radiation that travels a short distance, thus minimizing unwanted side effects and damage to non-involved nearby tissues and uh, nearby structures. Radiopharmaceuticals decay are an and are excreted from the body through normal bodily functions. Photon, Greek for light, a particle of light or other electromagnetic radiation. Positron, Greek for positive element, a subatomic particle equal in mass to an electron but with the opposite positive charge. Radionuclide, uh, radio means radiation, nuke means nucleus, and an ide having a particular quality. Radioactive agent used in nuclear medicine. Radiopharmaceutical, okay, we've touched on that before, those are radioactive drugs. Scintigraphy. Sinta means spark, graphy means process of recording, recording of radioactivity with gamma cameras, and then tracer, Latin for track, radioactive agent used to trace metabolic processes. Radiation therapy. X-ray therapy. Radiation therapy is defined as treatment with x-rays or radionuclides. Ionizing radiation works by damaging the DNA of tissues exposed to it. However, the x-rays often have to pass through skin and other organs to reach a target tumor. 
to spare normal tissues from the harmful, si harmful side effects of x-rays, narrow radiation beams are aimed from several angles to intersect at the target tumor. This provides a much larger local dose to the tumor than the surrounding healthy tissues. It's also common to combine x-ray therapy with surgery, chemotherapy, hormone therapy, immunotherapy, or any combination. And then 3D CRT, three-dimensional conformal radiation therapy, IMRT, intensity modulated radiation therapy, RIT, radio immunotherapy. There are five types of x-ray therapy. Conventional external beam radiation therapy consists of a single beam of radiation delivered to the tumor from several directions. The concern is the effect of the radiation on the healthy tissue close to the tumor being irradiated. For complex reasons, large tumor respond less well to radiation in small tumors. Strategies to overcome this include surgical resection prior to the chemotherapy, as in the treatment of breast cancer, chemotherapy to shrink the tumor prior to radiation therapy, and giving radiosensitizing drugs during a radiation therapy. Examples are cisplatin, platinol, and cetuximab, Herbitux. Stereotactic radiation is a specialized form of external beam radiation therapy. It focuses radiation beams by using detailed imaging scans. In stereotactic radiation sur radio surgery, radiation is applied to the tumor with multiple, as many as 200 separate narrow beams so that the tumor receives a very high dose of radiation in one treatment, yet the surrounding tissues are minimally, minimally irradiated. In areas of the body where there is a motion by breathing or blood flow, a combination of continuous imaging, motion detection, and robotic guidance enable the beams to remain focused on the tumor. Stereotactic body radiation treatment refers to the use of these techniques in, su in such areas as the lungs. A technique called hypofractionation is, give is the giving of a much higher dose of radiation per session with greater accuracy and the sparing of normal surrounding tissue. Brand names of these stereotactic radiation therapies include Gamma Knife, Cyber Knife, Tomotherapy, and True Beam. Three dimensional conformal radiation therapy is a result of being able to delineate tumors and surrounding normal tissues in three dimensions using CT or MRI scanners and planning, soft, and planning software. The profile of each radiation beam and the treatment volume conform to the shape of the tumor, allowing a higher dose of radiation to be delivered to the tumor with a reduced toxicity to the surrounding normal tissues. Intensity modulated radiation therapy is the next generation of 3D CRT in which the tumor is wrapped around a vulnerable structure such as a blood vessel or major organ. The pattern of radiation delivery can avoid the normal structure. And then proton beam therapy has the advantage that the proton only gives up its energy when it hits the tumor and does not continue through the tumor to hit normal tissues on the far side. Very high doses of radiation can be given without adjacent normal tissue damage. Prostate cancer is the most common cancer to be treated by proton beam therapy. Nuclear medicine therapy and radioactive iodine therapy, I-131. The iodine-131 is taken orally and absorbed into the bloodstream from the GI tract. From the blood, it is concentrated by the thyroid gland where it destroys cells that the org uh, in that organ and is used to treat thyroid cancer, thyroid nodules, and hyperthyroidism. Common nuclear medicine therapies treat lymphoma, neuroendocrine tumors, and palliative bone pain. Implanted capsules of iodine brachytherapy are used for such cancers as prostate and breast cancer. Radio immunotherapy combines radiation therapy and immunotherapy. In immunotherapy, a laboratory produced molecule called a monoclonal antibody is designed to recognize and bind to the surface of cancer cells. This mimics the body's naturally produced antibodies. In RIT, a monoclonal antibody is fused with a radioactive material and injected into the patient's bloodstream. The antibody travels to and binds to the cancer cells, delivering a high dose of radiation directly to the cells of the cancer. Brachytherapy. Brachy is short. Therapy is medical treatment. Internal radiation therapy delivered by placing radiation sources into the tumor. Hypofractionation. Hypo means below. Fract is broken. Ination is process. Larger measures of a dose of radiation given less frequently. Monoclonal. 
Clone means cutting. Mono means one or single. Ale means pertaining to. Pertaining to protein from a single clone of cells. Photon and proton, we've talked about those before. Radioimmunotherapy. The combination of radiotherapy and the use of antibodies, e.g. monoclonal antibodies. Stereotactic. Stereo means three-dimensional. Tact means orderly arrangement. Ick means pertaining to, pertaining to a precise three-dimensional method to locate a lesion or tumor. And that is the end of nuclear medicine and radiology.